ladies of both of y'all could take this. Up 18-6, to six, they called the timeout, and then it was just really tough to score. What was the biggest adjustment in that break when they went on their run? When they went on their run? Yeah. Well, we didn't adjust. Um, we wasn't boxing out. They got 19 second chance shots, 15 points from fast break. So we really wasn't playing no defense. We wasn't getting back. I mean, they did everything they were supposed to do, and we didn't. Yeah, Makia, that rebounding seemed to be a big difference in, in the game. I guess, what were they doing that allowed them to get the, that edge there? Uh, we just weren't being disciplined. We weren't boxing out. So that allowed them to get off, offensive rebounds. Yeah. In the back to the Joe. Taya, for you, what was Coach's message after the game? What did she talk about with you guys after a tough performance here tonight at home? Um, we just don't have no discipline. We have a lot to work on. Uh, we got 24 hours to deal with this, and it's over with. We're going to move from it. We got to pick our heads up. We got to get in the gym. We got to worry about little stuff that we're not doing. Um, we just got to have discipline, really, and we got to come together as a team now before it trickles down. Yeah. Y'all put on the press to start the second half, and it really started working. Is that something that you could employ in greater stretches of the game if, uh, you know, going through the, the rest of the season? Absolutely. I feel like we learned a lot about this game about ourselves, about what we can and can't do, what we're good at, what we need to work on. So I think the press was um, pretty good for us, and we should use it more often. For either of you guys, one for 21 from three, was it a matter of just not getting the right shots, or were they just not falling tonight? Um, I feel like we shoot better when we're in the flow of things, and it wasn't really in the flow. It was like shot clock running down, shoot it. It wasn't really anticipated. Like nobody was expecting the shot. So I think once it start getting in the flow of it, we'll be better with that. Shoot it from outside the arc. For either of you, you talk about perhaps a lack of discipline here tonight. What surprised you most about not being able to really rein it in and kind of shut down Maryland's run in this game? Uh, we just didn't stick to our game plan. We really do, didn't do any of our keys that we were supposed to execute. We just didn't stick to our game plan at all. I know Alexis is still recovering from uh, that, that knee problem, but how important is it? Is she going forward? It seemed like it, when she's on the floor, everything just flowed a lot better, and when she wasn't, everything broke down. I think Alexis Jennings is a key player for us. She's definitely a go-to. She did absolutely everything she could when she was in, and we needed that. Um, I wish she could have played more, but I mean, we got a long season. This is real early, and we need her healthy for later on in the season more than these first few games. I know Marilyn just mentioned it in part, uh, but it's odd to see Asia Wilson sitting on the sidelines when you guys are so used to having her in the game and playing with her. While you're getting used to participating and working together as a team, off the court, how tough is it to then adjust to not having 22 in the game? I mean, uh, we just got to have people step up. It's tough not having her out there. You know, there's nothing we can do about that. Um, we just got to step up. Everybody got to, you know, do what they got to do to help us get a win. Yeah, Asia, Asia contributed a lot um, on both ends of the floor. She filled up the stat sheet. So, you know, everybody being new, everybody being young, and we all having completely different roles than what we used to. Um, I think that's hard, and that's a lot. And uh, I think we're going to be straight. I think. She just, she just gave us a lot, and we just trying to figure it out.